Hi, good morning, friends. Yeah, today we are going to solve this uh, word ladder problem, problem number 127 in the hard category of uh, lead code. So basically, we will first go through the problem. What is the problem? So this problem is like uh, we have to transform the sequence of a word. Like there will be a beginning word, and there will be an end word, and there will be a list of words. These are three things are input beginning word and end word and the word list. Then what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to do transform this begin word to end word in such a way that the, during the transformation, uh, like uh, the path will be such that like uh, after we transform first word to second word, the difference of character between these words should be only one. Like you can see from heat to hot, there is one character difference. Like I is replaced with O. From hot to dot, this means H is replaced with T. From dot to dog, so basically T is replaced with G and then D is replaced with COG. So basically in this way, we got the destination word. That is the end word, that is a cog. And how much uh, uh, path we have taken, like one, two, three, four, five. So basically output will be five. How many word we have used to transform it. And uh, so and zero if there is no such uh, uh, sequence exist as an example number two, you can see if there is no such sequence like begin word is hit and we have to go to the cog. So from hit we can go to the hot and from hot we can go to the like dot or dot from dog we can go to the either lot or uh, dog uh, if we go to lot then we can go to log but we can't go to cog so this is the basically the problem so now as usual we are going to solve this problem in c plus plus and what's our approach so the approach will be we are going to do simple bfs from the beginning word and what will be the condition of bfs the condition will be uh, we will uh, the neighboring nodes of the start node you can say this is the start node and what will be the neighboring nodes all the words in the list which have a difference of character is one like from this what will be the neighboring nodes hot will be one thing and uh, what will be the other uh, there is no other neighboring node but let's say there is a dit in the list then dit is also uh, a neighboring node of this HIT because it's a one character far from this character, this word. So uh, in this way, uh, we will continue on BFS and after getting the final destination word, that is the end word, we can uh, we can see what the path we have traversed. So this is basically will be the solution. So what we need, one thing is DF, uh, BFS and other thing is we need a utility function to check whether the two words have uh, one character difference or not. So, okay, so let, let's say first we write a function so that we can uh, uh, give output true or false whether the two uh, string are one character away or not. So let's say uh, is uh, uh, one char uh, far. So there will be two strings. So let's say a string uh, S1 and there will be a string uh, is, is two and the return type is bool. So what will we do first? We will take the size of uh, uh, first string and uh, similarly we will take the size of second string. Now we can compare if the length of the two strings are not same. That means it not going to be that one. So if n one is not equal to, you can say n2 then obviously you have to return false okay now we have to calculate the difference between the two string and it should be only one so we will take a variable diff equal to zero and we will loop through the uh, string and uh, let's see because n1 and n2 should be equal so we can take uh, uh, with n1 until n1 and then we will uh, count the difference. So if uh, S1 of i is not equal to S2 of i, then we will just increase the diff. And what we have to do? 
if d is greater than 1 that means it's a not one char far it's a more than one character far so we will return here false and while uh, cut after termination of this loop if uh, nothing happens such like that means difference is equal to 1 uh, then um, or if uh, difference is like uh, 0 difference might be 0 so what will we do here return diff equal, equal to 1 so simple so if diff equal to equal to 1 then we will return that it's a 1 character far so we get this method now what we have to do we have to apply a BFS and how do we apply a BFS we have to take a queue so we will take a queue of string to get the BFS right to basically store the neighboring nodes and also we need a, a array to store whether that node has been visited or not here node we can see as a string whatever in the list so yeah you can think of it as a graph in which one node is the one string and the neighboring nodes are the string which are uh, of one character far from the parent node so that visualization will be clear so now i will declare one uh, uh, what you can say visited array of size of uh, word list size so first we calculate the word list size so that will be good enough so word list size then uh, we will declare the visited of size uh, n and we can set it as uh, all false so let's say mem set mem set uh, pip means uh, it, either you can use a loop or you can directly set all the errors false by using this method or you can use a array to iterate every element and uh, set it false oh there is a typo So all the visited array, basically all the elements of the visited array is set to false because they are unvisited until now. Okay. And we have to get the result also. So we will declare a variable result equal to zero and then we will start. So in the queue, first we will start push the root node. You can say what will be the root node here? The begin word, whatever the starting word is there. So we will push that word in the queue now what we have to do we have to apply bfs so basically until the this uh, bfs queue is not empty we have to iterate through it correct then what we have to do here here we have to calculate the length basically what is the length of uh, this queue so that we can know what are the elements are there so calculate the length now for that length means for whatever the elements in the queue we have to iterate through it so let's say k equal to 0 to k less than length we have to iterate we are iterating through the bfs queue basically uh, so what will we do uh, we will pop the so you can say current word or neighboring word so I am taking as a current word you can take as a neighboring word also so we will take it front of the queue and then pop from the queue as in C++ there are different method for doing this okay now we have to check whether this current word is equal to equal to end word if it is there then we just have to result uh, return the result right as we get the end word so if uh, this is the case then we just have to what return result plus one that's it but if it is not the case then what we have to do so if it is not the case then we have to get the word list whatever the word in the vector so for that we will have to iterate through it until its size so n is the size and what we have to do we have to check whether the element from that word list is one character far from the current word and it's not visited then we will push that element in the bfs queue right and make the visited uh, flag true 
so what will you do we will first check whether this node has been visited or not so we will check whether this uh, visited i is equal to equal to false or not right and then we have to check whether this is one character far or not so we have already make this uh, util method is one char far so we will check here whether this uh, string is one character far from the current word or not so first string is current word as we are comparing the current word with the uh, elements in the word list so word list i correct that if it is the case if it is a uh, false and it is one character far then what we have to do we have to just push this because it's a never element nevering node of that current uh, word node so here we have to push that in the bfs queue and then we have to make the list of that index as a true right and after this uh, like after this going through this uh, whole iteration with the length of bfs we have to increase the result right so what will we do we'll simply plus plus the result and after that yeah so after this for loop after this uh, result what we need to do like uh, we have to return zero if we are not getting any end word like here we got the end word so we are returning the result if we are not getting the uh, basically the end word that means we have to return zero so we are returning zero okay let's run the code and let's see let's see what's happening on it's taking time oh okay okay so yeah so yeah i have some typo here in declaring the string any other things okay here also n is not equal to one here is string that's uh, due to in java we write a string as capital that's yeah I don't see any other typo. Let's run the code. Let's see. Yeah, string. Oh, again, here a string is extremely sorry for this typo. Yeah, got the result. Okay, let's submit the code. yeah it's uh, accepted uh yeah we can uh, just improve one thing here like uh, if the word is not in the list if the end word is not in the list then also we are doing this uh, 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 in this thing so that also we can check whether the anything which is not one difference far from end word then we will not get the answer right so we can uh, use that uh, specific case to optimize the solution but yeah it's okay fine okay thanks thanks everyone please sub like and subscribe the channel